so shiny. Details on it are pretty good as well. Real nice. Yeah, I don't even have enough influence to issue a vote on anything at this point. Let's say I was I would like to like take out the battalions, but they have s they're so like so close together that the armies are gonna form so fast. If they have the most defensible position, I'd say in the game. Because everything's so close to each other. All the settlements. Why these guys that I gave them a castle? They have so little troops nowadays. The Stalinic is working fine. Named after what? Which follower? There was another one. Velas, right. Okay, they're doing fine, but this guy? He's the first and he's doing the worst. Which is odd. Let's go after those guys over there. Nah, I don't want to lose anyone, so we're gonna not gonna out resolve it like that. Okay, they did actually spawn pretty close this time around. Oh, the ragdolls, never gonna get old. Yeah, the, um, the Valkyries might do fine if I amass a ton of them. We'll see how they work out. Yeah, let's say Axeman. I don't need to keep that tagged anymore. I mean, I just should. I should just wait till the non-aggression pack with Sturgeon is over. Sergio is over. That's the goal of this campaign to take them over, dethrone Ragnar, and decapitate him as well.
Now, I do want to get an alliance with someone with it. I don't think it's going to work out since we were... I guess we can get that non-aggression or an alliance with someone we didn't go to war with. Ever. Might be like the Southern Empire? No. I'm sure we, if we were at war with the Northern Empire. But he's the only one that likes us. The Azerai as well. Guess I need to go and amass 500 influence then. If only we were at war, right? <laughs> Again, I don't actually see like uh, the non-aggression bags doing that much in the way of like not being at war constantly. I mean, the AI in the base game usually doesn't, you know, declare war back on the same empire immediately or the same faction. Well, here we go. Let's get right on one of them. Okay, maybe that won't work. He's too fast. Let's gather up an army first then. Just get him close. Now question where where are they gonna strike first? Because I do wanna like let them besiege something so we can rush in and wreck them. Well that is the idea anyway. Yeah, you're freaking far away. Empire Bullion. Right. <laughs> well, that name's never gonna get old. Look at that. A thousand troops. Let's see. I mean, taking, you know, swooping it from this side would be the best idea. Or maybe taking these because they're less defended, I guess. And so we can, like, easily defend this here. Death is gone, definitely. No way we're gonna hold that. This as well. 145. Let's scout all the fences over there real quick. Actually, let's call someone in. Yeah, you come with me so I can actually spend influence to get the cohesion back up. Okay, this is rightful Sturgeon territory. Give it back. Yeah, I will not destroy the walls this time around. I want to see if they actually fix the... Fix this, you know, troops going up the ladders and all that. I do want to destroy their catapults, though. Yeah, Calmer is gonna fall, definitely. There's no way we're holding that. It's right in the middle of their territory. Funnily enough, they're keeping the ballistas up. Or well, ballistae, not catwalls. Come on. Lots of pretty f chasing, chasing my party, really? Yeah, right.
Okay, let's see if the mothers fix the sieges. That's what they said they were gonna do. Or they did. I might lose a shit ton of units here as well. Guess this is fairly wide open so I can spread all the archers. Except for the bunch of rocks here, for some reason. Okay, let's place them like uh, this, I guess. They actually. This is a grave, right? graveyard, isn't it? Yeah, that sure seems like it. At least we get cover from it, right? Somewhat. No, let's see. Siege fix. Let's see what it's all about. Well, like it didn't actually say or didn't look into it really that that good but um, it doesn't say that they actually what they did maybe they fixed the pathfinding a little bit for the infantry we'll see Takes so long. I forgot how long it takes to get the siege towers in the bedroom around to the walls. Do you think they want to have their infantry on the walls too so they can throw the throwing weapons on us? No, but uh, Tail Worlds has other ideas. Look at the captions from time to time. I had the translations good enough. Fuck it. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go the other way. Let's see, let's see, come on. Go up the ladders, please. No, 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 don't, don't get stuck, don't. Move, you fools. Come on. There we go, there we go, come on, come on. It's kind of better. Not really. Yeah. 
Why is the some of them like going back? Why are you what, what the okay? Yeah, fuck it. I'm just well, that's my guy. Uh, from now on, I'm just destroying the, the walls. Fuck it, not worth it. Look at that, they killed off the units there and they just went back. What, you're gonna throw the rock at me? Come on now. It's funny, like... We get the mod that fixes the sieges, more or less. It works fine. Hail words come in, comes in, fucks it up. Like, why? Really? We just got it working fine, and Tail worlds screws it up again. Grab all of those. Let's keep all the loot for now. So we get the experience. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I'm not gonna take it for myself. That's gonna be a decent garrison, actually. Look at that. Now yeah, let's see. Are they at Okay, I know they're gonna take that. There's I'm not gonna defend that. Yeah, look but like no way. Even this here is gonna probably fall. Yeah, let's see. Andrew Castle, then that. I think I'm gonna mop up like well Western bit first. Then move on to the next one. Come on. Turn around. Catch him for us. He's gonna get... No? I need you to catch him. Come on. Or he's gonna be... In the, what? Come on. Come on. Catch him. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, I'm I'm gonna fight this fight just because the first one, or well, first decent battle. Otherwise, I'm just gonna out resolve these. There's not much uh, to do. They do have decent archers, but uh, the AI, for some reason, just keeps them in the back. Ain't it fair? We have the sun in our eyes.
Let's move the, up, the arches a little bit up. I don't think they have a range. That's gonna take a while for the sh eh, do we need a shield wall? Not really. Yeah, they only have 11 archers, so we should be fine. You see that one guy aiming at me. And he's gonna one shot me. That's it for the infantry. Now we just need to capture all the horses. Jesus Christ. I think those are throwing weapons. No? Arrows, apparently. Pretty fucking big for throwing weapons. Or for arrows. Yeah, oh, that guy's mine, apparently. No, I did say I was gonna let him go. I think I've changed my mind. Right, we're gonna let the companions go, but uh, not the... Uh, no, wait. Yeah, the companions we're gonna let go, but the... Leaders themselves we're gonna take prisoner. Yeah, they took that, obviously. Let's see, 648. They are besieging... Pantry Castle. No, you're not. I'm besieging it. Fucking bastards. Go besiege something else, Floki. Actually, right, we can't do that. Okay, so we do still need to destroy the walls completely. Unfortunately, until they fix the sieges, we have a chance to reproduce. Such useless thing. stuff you got okay two castles you give it to me then I'm gonna give it away to someone else apparently I didn't assign a governor a governor there for some reason let's see which one was that Fuck. A wine ski or something like that. Okay. 
you can do fuck all when you're in siege, apparently. Wait a minute. Right, you can't do anything, right? Because that makes sense. But like, you can't send the messenger to do something. Maybe I should just take uh, castles for myself, then just give them away immediately to someone else. Yeah, that should that should probably work out better than this. Besieging the castle, uh, the city over there. Good. Is this one again? Not that big of a fan of this layout. I still wish that worked a little bit better. I guess the RTS camera mod would fix it, but uh, unfortunately I think it's still broken, that mod. Not the smartest of ideas, don't do this at home. Especially on the hardest difficulty. Fuck off, you high born piece of shit. Simps for them, for them. Batanian Fians are so good. Imagine if you could actually like place archers here when you're defending and they don't move anywhere, they stay right like right on top of here. You have a clear shot to everything, Jesus Christ. Even these ones like up here. If they actually like stood on the edges, not like in the middle. Well, that's of course. Up. Let's 
show mercy, grab it for myself. Now let's give out the thieves. So this one. Igorikson. Hendrik. Hmm, I can't remember which one holds the cat the city up there. Ah, it's not gonna matter that much. Plus now, can dump everyone in there. Donate some troops as well. What's up, Rick? I can't remember what MFE stands for. We didn't actually lose that many troops. We only lost five guys so far. Well, we did grab a couple of people here and there. Here they're besieging that. We're gonna go on to this, of course. Well, funnily enough, because it... What the hell is besieging? Right, they're at four with someone else, too. Or not. What? Oh, maybe it bugged out. Probably. Right, I want to check this. My, my face, when? I don't actually have a webcam, to be honest. Or I do. I do have one, like, from... More than 15 years ago at this point. Somewhere. I don't know where it is. Or does it still work? Well, do the drivers still work for it, Bethesda? Because uh, Windows XP was a thing back then. Actually, it's not interesting. Oh, come on. Doesn't, wanna, doesn't someone want to be friends? I just realized it's not only live, but you who just... <laughs> Right, I did... On the Tuesday... Yeah, today is Wednesday, so video did come out this day, right? Kawasaki. Do you have a Kawasaki motorcycle? Thanks for watching, by the way. I do want to form an alliance with someone, but like, come on. I do I have to like go onto the mod page and see if anyone has actually. Has anyone actually like formed an alliance and with the diplomacy mod? Because. I don't know, maybe you need to send this guy money every so often or something. Kiss his ass. Or kiss every every lord's ass, to be honest. Yeah, probably it's probably like that. You like you need to go all over the place, then do the tasks for the kings as well. You know, the little missions they give out, which I have no clue which ones are available, except the one recruit my tr recruit troops for me and collect taxes for me. Maybe the only then you could actually get an alliance with them. Yeah, you had to have, like, literally, you have to kiss their ass the whole game to get the alliance. I wonder where he's going, right? And he literally ignored me. The balls on this guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, go in, go in there. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna slaughter you. Or like the best bet is gonna be. Uh, 
We need horses. Do we? Do we? 66 while ending cor cor cruisers. Corsairs. Cruisers. You mean uh, cavalry, not horses. Do we have a bunch of horses? And a shitload of mules as well. This is going to be a little bit longer. Hopefully these guys are going to be get be done with that and then turn around to save that other one. The castle over there. Hope is the first step on the road to disappointment, right? You piece of shit. God damn it. Yeah, go, 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 go. Go we'll see. Never mind, he... Oh my god. Oh, he's chasing my party, really? Right, I do have a party to catch these guys. Look at that, nice. Just come it. One of the lords I get he often is them ask me for horses. Uh, so like drought animals, animals for villagers, just horses for the lords. I guess that would make sense because like getting the higher tier ones, like the war horses, ain't that really that easy. They're usually sold out. I'm gonna auto resolve this one. Okay, now go catch this guy. Come on, come on, catch him. No. God damn it. Apparently he decided to go after looters and now he's dead. Huh? Yeah. So much for the AI being smart. Caravan escort. Uh, well, I wonder. Uh, I'm not the one who stays in the like early game too much. I just usually just rush. Being a faction or a mercenary, because loot is all you need for money. We're gonna take that. If I don't go. Well, I don't think I'm gonna make it there in time anyway. Okay, apparently he gave up. Nice. There's gonna be less resistance here at least. Take it. He's besieging uh, the castle I just looked at a moment ago. I think they took it. Unfortunately. I just wish you could like zoom out of the fucking map. This makes no sense why they're making it like this. 
I guess you. I guess it's like this, so you can't run away like a bitch. I see a big army coming your way. These guys are going to besiege that city over there. For sure. Castle. Yeah, I should be able to like break down the walls and get there in time. Yeah, for sure. and attacked me with a lot of elites then maybe Bowman! maybe I'll have some resistance Whoa. otherwise uh, not really Infantry! like the only challenge is now is like not letting them take anything while you conquer them Forward! but I mean when I was fighting the Sturgeons we did have a little bit of trouble with them just a little bit this this one for archers is really freaking bad. Arch infantry forward. If you look at the defenses, the defenses here. I mean, I can plop my archers up here, I guess. That's what I'm actually gonna do. I mean, you know, once I take over the Sturgeon land, all over, all of it, uh, it's not gonna be like. There's not gonna be that much resistance, I guess. And you watched enough of my videos to know that I can deal with anything at this point. More or less. It's definitely better if you siege, uh, like siege everything and like uh, destroy the walls and all that. And if you don't really want to fight the battle, you can always like starve the enemy out. That works as fine as well. Until they fix the the way troops get up battering rams and ladders. Don't even try using them. See a Kawasaki. A uh, good one. Look at them coming out of a hole in the wall. I've seen like a, I don't know if you were around, but like on siege tower, uh, my guys climbed up, then turned around to climb down, and climbed up back up again a little bit later. Well, like the, the, the AI decision making on siege battle is fucking weird to say the least. I mean, it, uh, it worked in Warband because it was so simple, it's, you know, you can fuck it up. Just go up the ladder and slaughter everything in sight. And it worked fine. Over there.
And when it comes to difficulty as well. Forward! The hell is that? We can't play troops, the game lags to hell. Yeah, the challenge in, every, in all the games today, the challenge is at the beginning only. Like later on, once you get your like shit together, it's become the game becomes just too easy. Especially when you look at like Total War games, the challenge is in the beginning, no matter what the difficulty. Like even if you go legendary, it's only challenging in the beginning. Now it is. Uh, I am looking at the DVD and the Para for Rome Total War 2. I might do a playthrough of that. That's gonna be interesting. Because they actually added the population system back in. So the and supply system and a whole bunch of other shit. Recruitment system as well. Regional recruitment. So the game might be actually challenging now. I might do that. I will do that at some point probably. In the near future. That fucking javelin or arrow is stuck in the midair. Look at that, they have inner walls. Oh, this would be so good to defend if you're already act Right, I did say I'm gonna do like defensive battles, custom battles. Because otherwise we're not gonna get them ever. You can actually make that work. He actually parried me twice. Three times, maybe. Only 44 losses on our side, too. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's make another... Mm. Engineer, stewardship, and trade. Right. Look at that. Engineer again. Engineering at 792. <laughs> Oh, that might be a little bit OP. Just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna give this to whatever the, that one is. I actually know. Let's just give it to someone as doesn't have a castle yet. I don't think any of these have a castle yet. So let's give it to Stelnik because he has the most members. Ooh, look at that. They gained a level. Okay, only eight days. So we can declare war on the Sturgeons. Do we have any idea to, like, uh, you know, fend them off here? Take this real quick if you can. P 
piece them out, then go at war with Sturgeons. Finish them off. Uh, yeah, sure, horsemanship. First off, we need to save this. Or not. Catch him, come on. Yes. <laughs> 60 upgrades as well. Look at that. Yeah, at this point, I could just all just all the battles. I just amassed too much or too many elite units for the AI to handle it. Decent amount of archers, 51. Let's just get in range like here. Yep, and most of them are the Batanian Fions. A lot of them are. Why do we have fire arrows? Fucking day. Since the AI can only recruit as the player does, they don't have. Uh, might make. It. I'm not sure how many troops do they get like by default. To be honest. Like, do they get raw recruits but out of thin air, or do they actually get elites out of thin air? Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be playing with Phil Stacks or not in the future. Might make the game a little bit too easy. Since they can't pull the troops out of their ass like usual. Then again, it didn't really make a... Oh, shit. What? Oh. Didn't make that much of a difference in the last campaign as well. In the Roman one. Steam roll and, and everything in there as well after a while. Standing in shield wall formation. Yeah. 
Look at that. Two kills. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to handle this unless they turn back. Or what? What the fuck? Yeah, the infantry ran back for a moment there, for God knows what reason. Yeah, I think that bugged out as well because there's, I don't think there's anyone besieging that actually. Right, we need to give that out to someone else. Wait a minute. Let's give it to them. They only have uh, one province somewhere over here, probably. Okay, let's go get to there. Take that little back real quick and besiege that. Hopefully they're gonna come and try and save this, not attack any of the, the, that over there. Only 52 defenders here. I'm gonna out resolve that. As soon as I'm able. The Azera declare war on us. Only five days remaining for Sturgeon War. Now we propose peace here. I mean, I don't give a. Little, I don't care much if you lose the territory over the, over that way. To be honest. And we might not lose any territory because we were at war with them a bunch of times and nothing happened. Take it for myself. Now. Give it, to, give it to them again. Okay, 58. And that was close to 58. Once we grab this, we're gonna piece them out because we're gonna have kind of a sold front line against them. They're only gonna have Dream More Castle over this side. This is gonna be easy to take. I'm actually surprised we're still holding this.
Should have let them just come in there. I'm gonna kill them all anyway. Uh, I'll show you once we get into the battle, Guido. But the, once you start a battle, you have the deployment screen. And on the left, you can click on the like plus with the ca plus with the character icon, and then add anything. I'll show you once we get into battle. Ah shit! Maybe not. Let's see. Need to try and go save that over there. Let me actually try something. No, apparently he's just gonna sit there. And I'm gonna show you as soon as we get into into the battle, into a battle. I think I should. Be, yeah, I'll get to them fast enough. Help these guys out, cause they're gonna be able to catch them unlike me. Yeah, fighting this is gonna be pretty freaking easy, but anyway, I'll show you. You see, when you go into a battle, you can click on this here, then choose the companion or the lord in your part army to lead them. Of course, you wanna like specifically make a, a, a companion for him, for the infantry line. And then you just click on the one you want to use it, use for them, and that's it. You can use yourself as well. It work, actually works pretty good because man, it does add a bunch of. Yeah, if you click Alt, if you hold Alt, you can see what he actually does. Each one of the characters, like what benefits is he gonna do? Give. Yeah, he is in there. So you see all the like benefits he gives to the uh, to the divi well division category. It's actually pretty good. Oh, I, I was I was like wondering what the fuck is the point of all those like captain skills and all that. Now it makes sense. Yeah, no problem, man. What the f... The fuck are you guys doing? Circle jerkin? Circle jerkin around? Enough, we don't know number them as much as I thought we would, considering we have number them three to one. Look at that one berserker, the one madman.
I'm not going to run through here. There's a bunch of rocks that are going to just stop me dead in my tracks. And I'm going to die like last time on this map. be able to outshoot these guys look at that they have a bunch of them like in the separate line like backup archers or something that guy almost lanced me yeah look look at this It's Nima. So is that's your name? Not in Arabic. Come back here. I'm not on the shoot. Never mind. There he goes. Oh, I do want to play Eagle Rising again now since I... Uh, then the the, f the the mod that makes the units actually fight in formation. And look at that! That's so much better than like just them blobbing up against each other or to each other. Dispersion. What's the... Look. There's a one name for like the type of ladders, right? Like I'm Serbian, so we type in Cyrillic. Not in... Uh, what the fuck is it called? Like Latin? Latin? No, it's not Latin. It is Latin, right? Like the internet. Since the AI is doing stupid shit like running with their backs to the enemy. Let's just sell the resolve this. Actually, let's grab Valkyrie. Yeah, Farsi. Get rid of the mercenaries. It should be fine. Yeah, hey man, at least I know they're different, like, uh, Was it like writing? No, not writing system. What? What? I can't remember what's the word for it in English. Okay, let's go back and try to grab that again. Hopefully, this time we're gonna be able to. Who the fuck are you? Oh, he's like... 
Though he got wrecked. Yeah, look, look, what the hell happened to you? I know, let's just keep you in, in the party for now. Apparently all his troops and him were wounded because they had no food. Which is, um... Real nice. We can declare war on Sergio now. Let's just grab this, then we're gonna do it. Infantry in your party gain additional 10% of all XP earned from battle. Uh, 2 XP daily or 10% more XP. Uh, let's go for 10% more XP. Okay, no distractions this time, please. It's funny, like, we're at war with the... The Azurai, but no, no, nothing's going on over there, it seems. It's a cold war, after all. Yeah, well, that's pathetic. An army of 85 guys. We actually don't have any support for declaring war on surgeons, which means I might need to use my influence to get it. What are they trying to do here? Oh, I think they're trying to get the to the village over there. No, it's pillaged already. Nobody knows. The same type of village again. Or city. outside no I did download the warband again I just need to install it and then get to work on the Modification for Proxy of Pandor. Well, that should be easy enough. It's just a bunch of um, like text files that need to be changed. Mm, and that's basically it. Nothing else to do. Like rename a couple of units. Could be done pretty quick. I might actually start a warband playthrough as well. Mm, this this month at least. This is gonna be interesting when the when the fucking warband runs shittier than this.
Let's try and squeeze. We can actually go through here with a horse. Look at that. No, of course not. Hmm. Can I? No, I cannot make that jump. Definitely not. What about here? Why is there a bunch of their infantry like stuck over there? Mm, those are mine. Looks like there's an enemy stuck in a wall, that's not good. I'm gonna be able to finish the battle. Yeah, it seems like it. The graphics break a little bit on the left of the screen for some reason when I pull out the shield, that's nice to see. Okay, let's just uh, I'll resolve this. Because if they're stuck in a wall, there's no way we're gonna kill them. Show mercy again, grab it for myself. And I'm actually gonna keep it for myself for now. That's our. No, we can't. I need to start naming these companions so I actually know who the governor is, who can I get. Play. Who can I place as governor and who not? Who I can't touch? Apparently there's no food in town either. So I might need to leave some grain in here. Yeah, there's no food in here, so let's leave all the grain we have. That should fix it. Kind of, a little bit. And now. Piece them out. We do want to piece out the Azerai as well before we declare war on the Sturgeons. The 
I should have enough sway and influence to actually get that. We do want to recuperate a little bit first. Let me actually check my companions. Okay, Yurian. You're a leader, not an engineer. Let's try and see. Uh, wait. Let's do it through here. Yeah, apparently I didn't sign governors anywhere. track of all my companions at this point okay, that should be fine now let's let me let me go check this real quick check the improved garrison mod as well copy to all castles copy to all towns Okay, hopefully both of these are not going to rebel anytime soon. I was going to imagine if we're like with four with Sergio, we have no, and these two rebel and we have no actual holdings. Will suck. I mean, if we only like need to be at war for one day more. When the hell did they take this? Right, look at look at them. We need to deal with that. Let me just check the body composition. Uh, we're gonna need more archers. Right, let me just clean out party real quick. Get these guys out. I think this village up here has the good stuff. Nice. Okay, well. Why do I keep thinking the Ezra are here? Like, but like, what the fuck's the point of this? We're on the opposite sides of the map. Okay, so piece them out. Go to war with Kuzite, the Western Roman Empire. Anyone but the Sergians. Let's change that round. Let me just pick up a couple more troops, see if we can get grab uh, if there's a the renegade army is still down there, so we can grab some experience. Otherwise we're declaring war on them. Since two armies are here, it might be better if I go for to, to knock out this first. Okay, 
Yeah, this one only has Valkyries. Well, mostly Valkyries. Yeah, there's still an army down there. Unless this mad lad knocks it out. Or he gets knocked out by them. What's up, Dursty TV? I can't read that. Let me go sell the prisoners real quick. Grab some food as well, maybe? Be good, they took that back. If only they took this back as well. That would be nice, so then I have... Any surprises? Let's actually go to war with them. I mean, not that we really need food, but, you know, why not? Okay, let's check the stats on the companions. Right, this guy got wrecked. Okay, they won that battle, good. Hey bro, hello to you too. What's up? I do wonder if I, am I gonna be able to win this war in like one go? All these small bodies roaming around are gonna be a pain in the ass to be honest. What are the garrisons like? And decent. Okay, let's call an army here. Yeah, okay, not him. over there right you're fine right then again who's fine when they uh, when you get blessed by the touch of American democracy Let's grab it. Let's like gather him here. Or just go over there. Then take them all. Then declare war on them. Take them by surprise. Take Takar first. Then uh, Belgard. And Elf. It'd be easy to steamroll them this way then. There's no way from that for them to run. from the Balkans or ex Yugoslavia, by the way. <laughs> Seems like they know what's coming. Okay, make the war offensive as much as possible. See if we can shoot that army down as it comes out. That's the smallest party. Him. Go catch him. Catch him. Maybe not. Really cool to see if they uh, can amass a decent amount of troops to actually attack me. Koa Castle. One of my territories. Hopefully the rest of the faction can actually deal with them. 
Let's see. There should be enough there. And what's a boomer? How's it going? Never mind, they, just... they apparently don't want to go besiege that anymore. And now they're going to besiege it again. When the hell did I get to roguery? Oh, prisoners are like less likely. I do need to go to that, like, skill tree. So we can make sure that the enemy lowers don't escape as easily. The size army over there. And Ragnar is fucking dumb, apparently, in this mod. He has no clue on what to do. Look at Floki, the madman. He's gonna get destroyed. Yep, pro probably. Dude, this is an interesting one. Oh, see, this is good. This is an actually pretty good castle because you can place a couple of infantry down here to choke all the enemy, then have your archers up here. And hope to god their battering ram doesn't reach your gates, I guess. Or just have cat catapults and hope they destroy it in time. Oh, this is the one with the graveyard as well. But this would be interesting to defend. I really do need to like one day like just sit down and play custom battles but, uh, I think I do need to download the battle like custom battle mod whatever it's called This is gonna be nice. My archers are gonna have a clear shot at them. Fucked up. Is they're gonna get wrecked?
get the game can handle them being there. Maybe easier to go the other way. Maybe. Yes. Nice. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a ladder. What's up, Oscar? How's it going? You know, you think that we have so many throwing weapons, you think someone would get killed these guys, like, real quick. Oh yeah, but defending this, ooh. I wonder if the like mod pack on Tail World's website was like updated at any point. A bunch of like new maps. Because it's been quite a while since they announced that. You know, to be honest, I'm actually surprised that my character didn't die yet. Considering the fact uh, I do have death on. this who's the closest here so the helmet guys or those guys three 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 uh let's actually give it to someone else then why does he have 15 fucking members i have no idea well let's give it to him then Uh, fuck you, game. Okay, now... Need that guy to actually catch him. Or get caught. Either way, it works out. Can we actually? Okay, we can't catch up. Uh, you go catch up to them. Nice. If we just need to wreck one of their armies, then we're, we're more or less free to kill them off or kill all of them off. Should be anyway, especially since the Western Roman Empire is still conquering them and they're still at war with them. I'm gonna make things a little bit easier as well. Unfortunately, we're gonna have a big purple blob in the middle of our faction then. Our kinsmen in quite a bit. Okay, 
Okay, they only have 50 archers, so we have the archer advantage, and... Okay, right, we're not on the defending party. Uh, we did start of like a fraction faction with the diplomacy mod, so we don't actually have that many clans with us. But I mean, it doesn't really matter, I can just give my companions land and have how however many clans I want. But I want to keep this campaign short, so the, uh, the goal here is to dethrone Ragnar and take the Nordic territory for ourselves. Uh, that's about it. I can assume she's ours. Nothing else, so that's why I'm not like making more clans and all that. Don't really need to. I mean, with the single service mod, you can basically make as many clans as you as you as castles you take or as cities you take. There's nothing stopping you. Although that, like, might make the game too easy at some point. Because then you can just feel unlimited amount of troops at that point. And the game is pretty easy by default, so on the hardest difficulty as well. Once you get, once you actually get going, torch your shit out. So much for that. Okay, how about your berserkers like stay in formation a little bit? They don't get one hit, one hit by a javelin or something. That's a fucking brawl, man. Now, unfortunately, we could stay and watch that, but they have things to do. Archers to slay. And so on. Or just miss him. Yeah, the angle of this on the attacks on this is kind of weird.
boss uh, with the realistic battle mod or like I can't remember which one exactly it is but uh, your the uh, AI actually picks up companions as well so it's not like a, you know predetermined clans and all that they actually pick up a bunch of uh, companions with them like half half of the uh, we'll see you'll we'll see when we finish this battle there's gonna be a bunch of like companions we can actually take and persuade to come join us like uh, clans are gonna be larger by default now as well just because they can pick up the companions from the taverns as well Fuck did these guys come from? Get that many kills. Yeah, that's a lord. Well, mercenary. This is a companion. This is a companion. This is a companion. Lord. Lord. Companion. 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 Yeah, there's a bunch of companions in there. So that's what I mean. Like, um,. The clans are gonna be huge. It's whether you like make them yourself or like persuade other lords to join you. I forgot we didn't take the castle, we actually had a just field battle. So let's get rid of some of these. No, not the prisoners. Wait, what? The fuck did I just do? No, no, Clo. Cl yeah, fuck that. Uh, get rid of that. I'm gonna take him later on. We don't want those guys. Ridari can dump a couple of them because we have higher tier cav anyway you know we should have free roam over everything now there's an army over there of 266 that's not actually enough we're still holding that let's go take Belga Belgard Clear war in the Western Empire. How about no? Yeah, 
It looks like they might have taken some of the stuff from them. Hmm. They only have 372 defenders here. Right, seems that the AI, had, well, they either didn't recruit enough garrison or they took out the troops from the garrison. Their parties. If I take over the role of Nord Nordland this uh, this stream, I'm probably gonna like do a couple more, like fight some, fight the Empire or something as well. Just so I don't add here, or so I can assert my dominance on the rest of the world, I guess. I'm not gonna take over the whole map or like most of it that like literally there's no point. There's no resistance. Unless the Empire like like unified with that one mod. That might actually be pretty pretty interesting to play with that mod. But the Empire starts out united. Yeah, that could be could be interesting. Could be a challenge, like Sammy said. Might actually do that. But who am I gonna fight them with? That's the question. The tent now. I'm not sure I'll figure it out at some point. Maybe I'll see if I can like play it with the edit mod in with the uh, samurai mod Tessujin. Why is there, why are there archers like in front of them? Jesus. Right. Maybe hold out the shield. Why are there so many of their archers like in front of the city? After this, there's only two more cities and one castle. Unless the Western Empire fails to take off castle. But I don't think they will. They have like about the same amount of troops as we do. I guess I'll do that once we actually take out the uh, Ragnar and Sturgeon faction. We can do like face off the, the most powerful faction. See if I can win battles against them, which may be the Western or the Northern Empire. We'll see. We'll go look at their military strength and then declare war. For the Southern Empire, I don't think they been, they didn't lose or gain anything, so they should be pretty good.
where we're supposed to go when you get into the into this layout. Not that way. That's for sure. Alright, there's a bridge. Wait, no, what? I think I'm a bit lost. Just a bit. like the inner fourth which you which the AI doesn't use <laughs> magic <laughs> 